is Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Well, we have all hit the potholes. We've driven across the crumbling bridges, but now the federal funds that pays for repairs to our roads is about to run out of money. And as lawmakers scramble to find cash to plug the hole, guess where they're thinking about getting the money? Gas prices could be going up again. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Matt Belanger live tonight with the numbers for us. Matt. Yeah, hi guys. We're talking about gas taxes and the federal gas tax. It hasn't been increased since 1993. And when you add on the fact of uh, Americans generally driving less, and many of them are also driving more fuel efficient vehicles, you have a situation where another gas price hike at the pump is a possibility. You feel like you're paying enough for gas. Absolutely. I mean, 379 is ridiculous. Ask people filling up. You just spent almost $50. That's, yeah. the, that's enough. I'm actually driving a Mustang, so it actually takes more gas. About the price of getting around. To get from point A to point B. And you'll hear a lot of people fed up. You feel like they're picking on the little guy? I think so, yeah. With having to pay more. 12 cents more over the next two years, you say? That's ridiculous. It, it's absolutely ridiculous. This week, a bipartisan Senate proposal surfaced in Washington that would raise gas taxes six cents each year for the next two years to fix a shortfall in the Federal Highway Trust Fund. That fund provides money to states for transportation projects, and it's projected to run out of money by the end of August. The fact is, we need revenues. You need revenues to be able to pay for the roads and bridges. Today, local officials joined union leaders under the crumbling Greenfield Bridge with a mock school bus that looks like it's been crushed by a falling piece of concrete to urge Congress to approve the plan, gas tax hike and all. This bus that we have here today is not a pump. This very well can happen right at this location. We must act and act before it's too late. The 12 cent increases on gasoline and diesel fuel would free up $164 billion for repairs across the country over the next 10 years. Some drivers say it's a worthy expense. We need roads and bridges to run our economy. They're essential. But a gas tax hike is also a tough sell politically in an election year. Today, Pennsylvania Democrat Senator Bob Casey Jr. stopped short of supporting the increase. We're trying to come up with a short term solution as well as a a longer term solution and there are a lot of ideas on the table about how to finance that. Okay, so before you throw your hands up in the air and discuss, you have to remember this is not a guarantee at this point. Uh, it's going to be difficult for a Senate proposal with a tax increase to pass in the Republican controlled House. It's going to be a hard sell. Lawmakers in the House, the majority of them, would like to see these repairs paid for with money from other parts of the federal government. We'll have to wait and see. Live in Wilkinsburg tonight, I'm Matt Belanger getting gas. Pittsburgh's Action News 4.